I recently got a text notification from a friend who said, help, I'm in a Teams group chat and the constant notifications on my desktop are driving me crazy. How do I make it stop? Well, fortunately for my friend and the rest of us, some updates that they've made to the Teams notification makes this a really quick fix. We're in Microsoft Teams and to adjust the notifications, you need to go to the upper right-hand corner and click on the three dots for settings and more. Then select settings from the drop-down menu. On the left-hand side of the screen, choose notifications and activity. You have a couple of choices here. The first thing you can choose is to mute all notifications except calls and meetings. By default, this is off and you would simply toggle it to on. Now, I do suggest that you use this with caution because there are a lot of different notification settings that you might be modifying without realizing it. What I prefer to do is go in and modify the individual notifications that are the most disruptive to my workflow. So in the example of my colleague who said, help, I'm getting too many chat notifications, you can scroll down to chats and channels. And the default option is show and banner. Now what that means is that you will see that little pop-up message whenever somebody sends you a message in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Click the drop-down next to the words show and banner and switch it to off. Now you will no longer get those pop-up notifications. Another notification that is commonly modified is replies to my channel posts and replies. This one is set to show in activity and banner. So that means you will get the pop-up notification we discussed a moment ago, as well as a message in the activity bell on the upper left-hand side of the screen. To modify these notifications, we're gonna go back to the box and click the drop-down next to show in activity and banner. And you will have two choices here. You can turn everything off or you can show just the activity notification. Now my personal preference is to leave the activity notification on so that I have a place to go to in order to double check that I haven't missed anything. But as always, please choose what is the best for you and your workflow. I encourage you to scroll through and look at the other notification types so that you can customize Teams to make the notifications work for you.